Do you have plaster walls? Okay, how not to be an idiot? Stop cutting holes in plaster! Because when you cut holes in plaster, it wasn't designed for that. So every single time you risk that plaster flexing and, and creating a crack that runs. And you see it in the ceiling up here? Follow the crack. What started the crack? The hole! And that is a mess to patch. Anybody got time for that? Don't nobody want to do that? You can't make this look good. And eventually someone's gonna come in here and say, forget this mess, tear all the plaster out and put up drywall. And that's what we want to prevent. Stop cutting holes in plaster! Why is there a light switch right here? Well, it used to be an outlet that somebody had put in to run some shoddy line up here to a TV. And they had it run up into the attic and it was spliced and it wasn't in a junction box and it was sitting in all this insulation. Huge fire hazard, very unsafe. Now I got a hole in the wall. I ain't got time to patch 75 holes from some idiot. You can't patch it up and make it look good. <laughs> so what I did is I made this the light switch for this closet. And then I added a safer outlet up here where someone can actually use it. When you have an old house, you have to think about how people who move in don't know about old houses. So you have to protect them from destroying the house. So go ahead and put in an outlet right here for the next person to hang their TV. Then they're not gonna go punching holes in the plaster, destroying it. Don't cut holes in plaster. You see this molding up here? that goes around the whole length of the house. That's called picture rail molding. And the way it's shaped is the very top is curved like this. And there's hooks that go on it. You see these hooks? Those are picture rail hooks. So what you do is you slide those along wherever you want to hang something and you have picture hanging wire or you they make pretty old Victorian cords that hang down. And then you adjust them to the length of whatever you want your picture or whatever what height you want to be at. And so when I put my picture rail back up, I'm going to go in the exact same hole that they did so I don't take any more risks messing up plaster. Seriously? Be nice to your plaster wall. See, there was a normal light switch here because there was just the ceiling light in here. But I added sconces and I wore them a separate circuit. So instead of cutting a whole nother hole, what I did is put these double switches like this. Don't cut holes in plaster. Even the baseboard right here, they got this piece of wood back behind it to nail into so you're not nailing into the plaster. And we have outlets in our hallway, here and here in the baseboards. Why? Because we don't want to cut holes in plaster if we don't have to. Stop cutting holes in plaster! I mean, are these spitballs? Probably. <laughs> it's nasty. Don't cut holes in plaster.